Hi, I'm Lowell with the Office for Mac team. In this short video, we'll look at some essentials for working with the spelling, grammar, and language features in Word 2011. First, to check spelling and grammar, on the Tools menu, click Spelling and Grammar. From here, you can step through each error, ignore or add words, and make any corrections you want right from here. Also notice that the title on this dialog box indicates the language of the dictionary being used, in this case English. If you want squiggly lines to appear under misspellings and questionable grammar, on the Word menu, click Preferences. Then click Spelling and Grammar. Here you'll want to select the Check Spelling as you type and Check Grammar as you type options. Also, make sure that both of these hide options are not selected. I'm not going to cover custom dictionaries in this video, but I do want to point out that here is where you can create and edit them. Now, I'll click OK, and notice the red squiggly lines appear under potential misspellings, and green ones appear under potential grammatical errors. Right-click or Control-click on any word with a line under it. From this menu, you can choose from one of the alternative spellings, ignore the misspelling, or add it as a new word to the dictionary. It's similar for grammar. You can either make the correction directly in the document, or click Grammar and make changes in the Grammar dialog box like we did earlier with the spelling errors. Now, since we're currently using the English Dictionary, Word has marked everything in this second paragraph as a misspelling. To have Word use a Spanish Dictionary instead, first select the text that you want to mark in a different language, in this case, just this paragraph. Then, on the Tools menu, click Language. Here it says Mark Selected Text As, so we'll choose Spanish. A couple of other things to note about the language dialog box. If you're ever not able to check spelling and grammar, make sure that this option is not selected. If it's selected, Word Spelling and Grammar Checker will not run. Also, if you want to set the selected language as the default language for all future documents, rather than for just the selected text, click Default. I'll go ahead and click OK, and notice that now we have only one misspelling in the paragraph. If we right-click on the word, we get several alternatives, all in Spanish. For quick access to other language tools like a thesaurus or translator, select a word in your document, and then on the View menu, click Reference Tools. Keep in mind that you need to be connected to the Internet for some of these tools to work. Finally, if you're ever unsure what language has been applied to any text in your document, on the View menu, click Reveal Formatting. Then click in the text. To turn off Reveal Formatting, just press Escape. So those are some tips you should find useful when working with words, spelling, grammar, and language features. To learn more, check out Help and the Office for Mac website.